So before we start our tutorial, I would like to tell you that my logo animation course is out now on Udemy. Link is available in the description, so you can do check it out now or later. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, AG Motion Design. In today's video, we are going to create this logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugin. So if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. I have created this composition uh, with the help of 1920 by 180 size and white background. Then I'll go to choose Grid and Guide option and hit on Title Safe Action. Now I have already imported this Google logo. As you guys can see, each and everything is on separate layer. You know how to create that in Photoshop. Now I'll select this by hitting Ctrl A. I'll select all of them by hitting Ctrl C. I'll copy them. I'll go to the Comp one. And I'll press Ctrl V and right click new and we will create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press S and scale it like this uh, to the appropriate size and bring this properly at the center and we will delete this null object now first of all we will animate this logo and then we will animate some extra elements now I'll select all of them I'll press P for position right click choose and choose separate dimensions and we will follow this procedure for each and every alphabet simply right click and you have to choose separate dimensions for each and every alphabet like that now select all of them and create one keyframe at x position and one keyframe at y zoom in a little bit go to around let's say one second and create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y go to around 1.20 frames or let's say 15 frames and create one keyframe at y and in middle of that i'll bring this a little bit upward like this now go to the start select all of them and then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this then press s for scaling option create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe and at the start i'll make this value zero okay select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle here, here so we will get something like this now in search bar i am going to type y only so it will show me only y position keyframes and in middle of that we will select all the alphabets and we will bring this upward like this then we will select these keyframes and we will hit f9 then we will go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here i'll select this handle also move this over here and this over here so if you hit play now we will get something like this now go to the start and press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go to one second and let's make this one complete rotation so if you see we will get this kind of rotation okay now first i want this g to animate then others so i hit page down button two times i'll select this o and i'll move this over here okay so we will adjust it one by one like this so we will get something like this now select all of them press ctrl shift c and we will name it as google logo animation and hit ok and we will hide this now we have to animate our extra elements so now i'm going to choose my rounded rectangle tool and we are initially going to choose black color and simply hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one uh, rectangle like this select the shape layer press ctrl alt home to align on the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now go to the start press s create one keyframe then press r for rotation create another keyframe let's go to the 20 frames and hit u and we will rotate it like this and we will create one keyframe at scale go to the start and now make this rotation minus 90 sorry uh, minus 90 and scale 0 select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here so if you hit play we will get something like this okay then after that i'll select this layer i in search bar i'm going to tap around i'll create one keyframe hit u 
go to around 1.10 frames and increase this rounded rectangle value like this and select those rounded rectangle keyframes and hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so you will get something like this so if I hit play now I'll get this kind of animation and then this okay now after that what we need to do over here I'll create one ellipse so select this ellipse and by holding shift create one ellipse let's select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally align it vertically press p for position create one keyframe go over here and let's bring this upward like this press s and increase the size select this and hit u select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here so we'll get this kind of stuff and press s for create one keyframe over at the start hit u go over here create another keyframe and go to the start and let's make this zero select the scaling keyframe also and select this graph by holding shift move this handle like this so we'll get this kind of animation now go to the 1.10 frames and i'll select this and i'll bring this in the middle with the help of align tab and we will select those position keyframes we will go to the graph and select this graph and hit f9 select this and by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if i hit play i'll get something like this okay now after that uh, go to the last keyframe i'll select this and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit u and delete all the keyframes and delete it and simply move this over here now at this point i'll move this over here then press p for position create one keyframe go few frame forward let's say up, up to around two seconds press v and let's move this over here go to around 2.20 frames uh, simply copy first keyframe by hitting ctrl c ctrl v select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so we will get something like this okay so if i see this animation now i'll get this and then this okay and now uh, whenever this this ellipse of this one should touch this thing now at this point hit u first go to the last keyframe and hit ctrl d to duplicate it again bring this layer at the top hit u and simply delete those keyframes like this and move this over here and this time I'm going to delete this fill. I don't want any fill. And I want one stroke with black color at least for now. And stroke width, let's say 10 pixels. Like this. Press S, create one keyframe. Go few frame forward and let's increase the size of it somewhere around like this. Let's decrease the stroke width somewhere around 1 pixels. Now select those keyframe, hit F9, go to the graph, select this graph, hold shift, move this handle over here. So if I see this, first this, let's move this over here. Okay, so if I see this now, I'll get this, then this. Now, uh, this is our final uh, shape animations. Now this color, I want this should be in blue color, so I'll go to the fill. With the help of this picker, I'll enable this color. Okay, then this one, I want color of this one initially should be red. So I'll pick up this red color like this. Okay, and you can change the color codes of this layers also. I'll change the red one so it would be easy for me to understand. And then I'll select this and I'll hit Ctrl D to do. do duplicate it and i'll change the color of this one to yellow and also uh, for this one i want yellow color so i choose yellow color like this okay and this one should start from this point so i'll hold alt close bracket or instead of that what you can do over here simply select this red one and bring this at the backward after this blue and we will select this blue layer i'll hit ctrl d let's hide this one hit ctrl d bring this at the top of the yellow layer select this and hit and enter and let's call it as mask select this shape layer and let's choose alpha man like this 
okay so if i say this i'll get something like this then we will select this shape layer and for this one i want green color uh, so select this go to the fill and we are going to choose green color from the logo like this then we will select this one and for those one i want this yellow color like this okay so we will get something like this okay and then we will hide this google logo select all of these shapes and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as shapes and hit ok like this so first this then this then at this point i'll select this shape layer i'll press r for rotation i'll create one keyframe go few frame forward somewhere around over here and let's make it to one com not one complete but let's make it 90 degree okay somewhere around this select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if we adjust this you will get something like this let's select those keyframes and move this over here okay let's go inside this select this one with the green color let's choose green color of it hit u select this last keyframe and zoom in a little bit select this and let's move this properly like this okay and now whenever this gonna touch this ellipse at this point i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer right click go to the time and type freeze frame and hit u now and delete all the initial keyframes and increase the duration up to here and then move this over sorry uh, then uh, go to the effect and presets panel and search for pixel poly effect double click to apply and then i'll move this layer over here so we'll get something like this and rotation value let's make it zero like this okay and then gravity i'm going to choose 0.5 and force i'm going to increase the force like this okay and if you want then you can increase the grid spacing to let's say 20 or let's say 15 and you can also choose speed randomness so you will get some random speed over there okay and at this point i want this google logo should start animate so i'll move this over here okay so if you see this animation from the start now i'll get this this and then this and then press ctrl y to create solid background and move this over here and hit u and then press n at the last so this is how you can create this kind of google logo reveal animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned